This is absolutely the best phone you'll never buy. The Motorola Think Phone has been nothing short of fantastic, especially when you consider the value that you get. And now that value is even, you know, I did a video a few weeks ago when they temporarily, I think, dropped the price to $499 or something like that. Now it's there again, $499. Link will be in the description. You have to go through Lenovo. I think Moto is still charging a little bit more, but I think these are on clearance basically is what they're doing. They're selling them out because it did not do well. And that's partially on Moto. I think a lot of the marketing around this phone was a little confusing, even for me. You know, I do this for a living. And I had to ask people that I work with at Android Police whether this was going to be available to the public just to buy. There were some rumors early on that this was only going to be available through like B2B and you'd have to call Lenovo or Motorola and make a whatever. If you had the ThinkPad, it's like a business deal. Nonsense. This is a phone that you could go out there, spend $499 on, and whether you have a Think phone whether you have, or whether you have a ThinkPad, whether you have any of that stuff, it doesn't matter. This works well as just a plain old phone. You've got the aramid fiber weave on the back here. You don't need a case, or at least I feel like I don't need a case on it. It's light, it's thin. You've got the upgraded, you've got the premium aluminum frame on the device. The camera is not hopeless. It's still a moto camera, but it's not fantastic. So just keep that in mind. But there's a, a big subset of people who watch these, my videos who talk about how they don't, you know, cameras are important and they absolutely are. This will take in good lighting a representative photo. However, there's a lot of people that prioritize a lot of other things. If they could save a couple bucks on the camera portion of a phone, but get a lot more in other areas, they'll take that trade. And this phone is absolutely one that does that. Fantastic. Your 1080p panel. Okay. So that's something that you might look at, but that's great. 144 hertz refresh rate. Absolutely liquid. Silky smooth. Great. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, so fantastic performance. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It's, it's really good performance. You're going to get gaming performance. You're going to get the reduced, the better heat power efficiency that came with the Plus version of the chip. No issues with that. 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. A lot to like here. A lot to like here. And you, since it has the Plus version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in there, eight, I think it's something like 8 hours of screen on time. It just, the battery never dies. Never dies on this thing. You can sit there. It is absolutely a two-day battery. When you do need to charge it up, 68-watt fast charging, and it comes with it in the box. Lots to like for $499. And absolutely, if you're somebody who's in the market for a phone, just wants a phone, and that sounds silly, but you're somebody who just wants a good performer, it's going to get great battery life, it's going to have good performance, it's going to be smooth. It's going to have the higher refresh rate that you like. It's going to have the fast charging, which a lot of people call for on these devices now. It is absolutely impossible to beat this package at $500. And your Moto's loss is your gain. Take advantage of the fact that this didn't sell well. You know better. You know that this phone is good. So you can feel confident picking one up, whereas other people might have been confused about it. Take advantage of that. They're getting rid of it on clearance. Pick it up, $499, you'll love it. It's got the support. They're going to give you four years of support. And that was a huge hang-up for a lot of people. You know, I got burned by Moto before. I don't want to do it anymore. Well, tell me something. Between this and the Razer Plus, they've been doing well. I understand the older devices that weren't promised things, they've still had some hiccups with because people are saying, what are you talking about? I got a Moto, whatever. It's still not getting updated. The older devices, guilty as charged. They have not been doing well with the older devices. The newer ones that they promised stuff on, zero problems. I've been getting my bi-monthly updates on here. I've been getting my updates on my Razer Plus. Android 14, who knows? <laughs> okay. Sometime next year. I don't know. Don't set, your, don't set your watch by it. You'll get it when you get it type of deal. But if you're getting this phone, perhaps that's not the biggest deal for you. It's not like Android 13 is running poorly. It's not like you have a battery drain. It's not like you have an overheating issue. It's not like you're getting three hours of screen on time. And it's glitching all over the place. You got a nice high performing device for a dollar amount with a premium on it the build quality that you don't find at 499 and i something about a phone that's light that's thin that's powerful that i don't have to put a case on that i just absolutely love wireless charge if you need that as well ready for which is absolutely fantastic you know, everybody talks about dex and dex uh, uh, samsung makes you beg for dex on thousand dollar devices 
It's ridiculous. Ready 4 is absolutely fantastic. They've just made some changes to it. They've added some stuff to it. Where is it? You could connect to all... Because he rate us. Oh, let's get off there. Come on. I don't want to rate. There we go. App streaming, mobile desktop, screen share, webcam, file transfer, hotspot, PC lock, smart clipboard. All ways you could connect this phone to your PC and have an extra little bit of area there using the apps back and forth. Unlike uh, unlike Dex, you can actually get some app streaming on there. You can stream your whatever services, TV services, stuff like that. You could put that on your PC. There's a lot more you could do with Ready For It. It is absolutely a solid competitor to Dex, and they're offering it on phones that are way cheaper than Samsung will give it to you on. I just reviewed the Moto Edge 2023 for Android, please. That's a four plus hundred dollar device that they have Ready For on. Same thing. Four ninety nine, you can get ready for Moto Secure. It's another thing that I love. This is even if though you don't have to have that kind of business account or whatever or business mind for this particular phone. I love the fact that you get all these security bits here: secure folder, phishing detection, auto lock, network protection, lock screen security. They just upgraded this a lot. You could go in here, privacy dashboard, past twenty four hours, who's used my location. Oh, it's tough to see with the white balance. Let's see if we can get that in there. Who's used my, my location? Which app? Which app has used my camera, my microphone, body sensors, calendar? That's a great one. Calendars, contacts. Why are the, why is this app using my, my contacts? Why do they need to get in there? This app has nothing to do with contacts. Why are they seeing my friends and family, their numbers? Calendar, same thing. Why do they need to know my schedule? What are they doing? Are they an app that can edit that schedule, edit my calendar? Then it should have that permission, but otherwise not. But I love the fact that you could see it in a user-friendly environment, you could go through, hey, this app is doing something it's not supposed to be doing, bam, lock it out, uninstall it, whatever you have to do, safe. So I understand that you're on Android, and there are certain compromises to be made there, and a lot of the security stuff for a lot of these companies is lip service, but Moda's actually putting his money where his mouth is and giving users some control back so you can feel slightly better about your online presence and Android with this device. So if you're somebody who is still hanging on to that black, BlackBerry... I know you're out there. I love you. If you're still hanging on to that BlackBerry because you, you just don't trust Android and you just don't trust the iPhone, maybe this gives you, and this has got the build quality of the old school black. This feels like the back of a passport. It really does. So if you want that old school feel, you want that some semblance of security that you used to get with BB10, then you could get something like a ThinkPhone and pick it up for a price that you used to get the flagship set. And you're not going to be wanting for, for a lot more performance here. Still good. Going to run the top games. It's going to have good good efficiency. A lot of no problems with power and heat and all the rest of it. Excellent battery life. You got the convenience key. Even if you're coming, or whatever they call it, the, the programmable key. If you're coming from a BlackBerry device, fast charging. Lots, lots, lots to like here for a $499 price tag. Like I said, link in the description. Does directly help the channel. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time. Have that Steve Lucious day.